news now. If you've ever had a rash from earrings or bracelets, you've probably suffered a nickel allergy. But it's not just costume jewelry that has nickel in it. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says it's a lot of other items, even new high-tech devices. Dr. Max? Yeah, that's right, Christine. Almost one in five people in North America are allergic to nickel, including 11 million children in the United States. So it's not a small problem. And these days, nickel is found in everything from hip and knee replacements to health food. Itchy, red, and irritated. This is what Sue McCann's arm looks like when she wears her electronic fitness tracker. I was very surprised that I developed a rash. Surprised because Sue never suspected her tracker could trigger what appears to be a nickel allergy, something dermatologists are seeing more often. Traditionally, we've seen nickel allergies in places like earrings or from belt buckles, but now we're tending to see it a lot on the wrist from electronic fitness trackers. One popular model was even recalled after thousands complained of skin irritation, later linked in part to nickel in the casing. Now some wearable companies are giving users a heads up that some contain traces of nickel and some people may experience allergies. Nickel reactions can range from a little local rash, infections of the skin, it can impact on sleep, it can certainly impact someone's occupation. But it's not just the fitness devices. A new bulletin from the American Academy of Dermatology says some electronic devices, including cell phones, laptops, and tablets, may contain nickel. People who are real sensitive will break out from exposure uh, to even stainless steel because the amount of nickel that gets released is, is enough to make them sensitive and show a, re a reaction or rash. And what you eat could also cause a problem. If you're extremely sensitive to nickel, you may want to avoid soy products such as soybeans, soy sauce, and tofu, as well as licorice, buckwheat, cocoa powder, clams, cashews, and figs. Now, manufacturers recommend wearing your watches and fitness trackers very loosely to avoid an allergic reaction. And some companies are working with dermatologists to make their products less allergenic. For other electronics, dermatologists say you might want to put a protective cover on your device. But again, unless if you're not, if you don't develop a rash or you don't seem to be sensitive, then don't worry about it. Who knew though? It's, it's all over the place. It really, is. it's amazing. And the folks who have it in get an allergic reaction to their hip or knee implants. Mm, that can oh, really yeah. be a big problem. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank right. you, Dr. Thank Max. You. You bet.